Hello, my name is Ted Chris with the Affinity Consulting Group, and today I'm going to be showing you how NetDocuments is connected to DocuSign via an application called Trumpets Signature Bridge. What we're going to do is start off inside of our agreements here, and we're going to select our particular contract right here. And we're going to scroll over here to our more options and we're going to select to send that to an application. What we're going to be looking for here is our trumpet signature bridge. So again, we're going to click on that and what it does is activates the bridge or the connector between NetDocuments and DocuSign. And if you blink, you actually miss the fact that it was handing it off to DocuSign, which now my document is now inside of. If I come back over here to NetDocuments, it's important for you to note that our document currently shows its current status, which is it's currently inside of a DocuSign draft. Something to also make note of is we only have one version of our document in this example. I'm going to come back over here to DocuSign, and we're going to now put in our recipient's information here and just simply hit Next. And now what we're going to do is take our signature field and scroll down here and drop it in where we want our recipient to sign. Next, we're going to simply hit the send button. What this does is sends it, obviously, to our recipient for their signature. The signature bridge has activated. Its current status is awaiting a signature. What's important about that is when we come back over here to NetDocuments, it is also going to have that same update. It's awaiting that one signature. So once I hit the refresh button here, the system is going out looking for its status. It sees that we have a signed contract. More importantly, when I come over here to Net documents and I simply refresh my screen, what we're going to see is that our contract has changed from one version to multiple versions. If I open up our versions, you'll see our document is automatically checked in, currently shows a signed copy from Signature Bridge. The final step in your process might be to take that particular document, come over here, and sign it electronically. This simply applies the signed stamp on that particular document, which cannot be removed. It basically locks that particular version so that no one else can make changes to it. And that completes this video on the DocuSign to NetDocuments integration. Thank you so much for joining us, and I look forward to working with you to have this up and running on your system in the future.